All right, Shalom. Just a little quick lesson about the brain. See, I got this article from Japan Times up. First and foremost, I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah Bashim, Rechakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone, the rule and teach well. Peace of salutation to the elect, 144 first fruit. All right, so let's jump right into it. It says the Japan Times, so kind of like New York Times, but. You know, I thought this article was kind of funny because they talking shit to America, but it's not really shit. It's just truth. It says a sick America can't compete with global powers, and that's factual. So it's kind of seems like this article is kind of attacking the society of America. Um, and um, I've been stuck in the book of Joel lately because, you know, really, that's that's what's um, that's what's, you know, ultimately. Um, happening right now like prime example let's just read joel three and one in verse two it says for behold in those days and in that time when i shall bring again the captivity of judah and jerusalem i will also gather all nations and i will bring them down into the valley of jehoshaphat and i will plead with them uh there for my people and for my heritage israel whom they have scattered among the nations and part of my land. Right. They just sold us into slavery, you know, done this, that, and the third, you know, labeled us certain, um, labeled a certain thing, you know, it called us not by our names, called us by words, things of that nature, you know, and pretty, pretty much a, a, a plead, like it says, I'll plead with all nations. That's an appeal. You know how you, submit something and they deny it and then you appeal it again for it to get approval yeah the lord is appealing the actions of these of these uh, other nations you know that came up against israel but as for a later later topic the main point i want to bring out here um i think i passed it Hold on, let me see. Yeah, Joel 3 and 10 says, Beat your plowshares and swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. You know, here's Japan going and saying, Hey, a, a, a sick America can't compete with the global powers. You, again, this is a country that was just bombed, <laughs> bombarded by America. You know, was bombed and you know to oblivion by America back during World War II, and they still saying these things. It says an unhealthy United States population constrains its productivity and ability to defend itself, and that's facts. I keep reading the other script that's in Ezekiel, land of unwalled villages, and then also it says the productivity, the the minds of these people are are fried, man. You know, they're fried, you know. So it says, if health means wealth, as the adage has it, then America's economy future looks grim. And that's facts. You know, it does look grim. And it is grim. Because this is what's true. It says, traditionally, the United States has enjoyed a healthy premium in the colonial era. American men were, on average, two to three inches taller than Europeans, according to military records, a fact that fascinates, if that, hold on, yeah, historical demographic, uh, demographers, because height is correlated with longevity, cognitive development, and work capacity. Well, it's kind of true, all right? Any, anyone who grows taller, of course, you got genetics and things of that nature, but then also what you what you get fed as a kid, this, that, and the third. America used to be way more, you know, not as GMO as it used to be. You know what I'm saying? It says today a premium is turning into a deficit. And every 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 country gotta gotta have a has a downfall. Fuck you. Every country has a downfall. The Lord was fair with giving every eighteen nations a chance to rule. What they did with their rulership was crap so they got brought out of rulership and the lord's going to show everybody how it's going to be done from now until forever 
okay? You know? <clears throat> so like in one second. You know, so like you. Good. I don't know why, man. It got a baby think of that one song. Forgot who was it by, because I said now until forever. Made me think of that one song. Uh, by Souls of, Souls of Mischief, 93 until. <laughs> Until infinity, I think that's what it's called. Ninety-three till infinity, you know. So from whenever these these missiles drop until infinity, is how the Lord is going to show these uh, nations how to. Yeah, this is how this is how I chill from ninety-three until this is how I chill. If brothers know what I'm talking about. It's a little dope little song, man. You know. So it says. Um, Today, premium is turning into deficit. American men are shorter on average than North uh, European men, and the gap is getting bigger. Six in 10 Americans suffer from at least one chronic condition. Four in 10 suffer from two. America is a sick society, says William uh, Gladstone in the Wall Street Journal. And right, you know, America used to be united, super patriotic. You know, I grew up in the 90s, man. People in the 90s were more hotly as hospitable, friendly, you know, he had more of like, hey, man, the 90s was a good fucking time, man. I'm going to keep it keep it real. You know, I consider that not being biased, but I consider that the best era, best era in movies, best era in TV shows, best era in, um, in music. Music was was it was hitting in the 90s, man. Music was hitting in the 90s. Best for best. Um, uh, sports, you know, the 90s was the best sports era, man. Michael Jordan, you know, Cowboys and shit. <laughs> you know, Troy Aikman, Michael Irvin, and Emmitt Smith, you know. You know, um, Olympics was balling, you know. It, it was just good. Michael Jackson was still alive. <laughs> shit, even though he came out with 70s, 80s time frame, but... The 90s was the was the was the pinnacle of America, and then it it, it dropped after that. And now we're here in 2023, reading articles like this because it's trash. So let's keep going. It says America's health deficit is growing, economic problem. It says the labor uh, participation rates is dismal at 62.4 percent. 11 million jobs are vacant. So it's not about people can't find jobs. People don't want to work. You want to know why people don't want to work, even though they don't understand this, you know. But I'm still going to get it here. Oh, Salaki, not Psalm 27, Psalm 127. Psalm 127 says, Except the Lord, and one says, Except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman waketh, but in vain. You see, people, and I'm supplying this to what I'm saying. People are laboring in vain because it's not going anywhere. I watched, <laughs> my rib was watching a TikTok that I caught wind of listening to. And, and it, they said, they really want us to work till 65. They really want us to work till 65. The average, the average age you're going to get to is like 75. So I'm going to work till 65, be an old decrepit when I retire. My back hurt, my knees are d diminished. And then I'm, I'm then, then I get a then I get a check. You know, every month after the 401k whatever you want to call it. And I can't even do nothing. My rod can't even stand up. Probably got ED. You know, bitches on menopause and crap. <laughs> can't have babies and shit. You know, this is, we're not in the time of the ancient time where Abraham and Sarah having a baby at 99 years old. You know, can still get it up and get it in. <laughs> get it up and get it in. You know, you turn 35 and you think you, you think you need a walking cane at some point. Let's keep going. Verse 2, it says, it is vain for you to rise up early, to sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrows, for he... 
for so he giveth his beloved sleep. Yeah, it's vain to wake up at the crack of ass, you know, be working at that job for 10 hours, then have to get off, probably have to do some ride shares. Then you're going then you're going to see your paycheck from both and be like I can't even pay my phone bill still. Then 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 work 12 hours and all 12 hours going to your phone bill and you still broke for the week. That's what this is saying. Okay? People don't want to work. Okay? It says compared with just 5.7 million people who are looking for work. So let's reread this. The labor force participation rate is dismal at 62.4%. 11 million jobs are vacant compared to just 5.7 million people who are looking for work. You know, you know what else that shows? Lazy, lethargic nature. And that's what and that's what America pushes. Procrastination and laziness. And then you get fat off of this unhealthy ass GMO that you're being stuck in your face with. OK, the society of America is sick. It's not good enough to defend itself. And we're seeing the weak saying they're strong by coming out with articles like this. Okay? You know, I'm not going to read this whole thing. I just wanted to come out. God thought this article was funny because it's true. It's crazy, but it's true. You know? It's crazy, but it's true. This is this is what it is. Okay? I'm going to put this article in the description box below if any brother wants to read it or do a follow-up lesson to it. But this is the path that America's heading down. And it's so sick... It can't complete with, uh, compete with global powers to the point where it's going to get nuked off the planet Earth. Okay? So, Lord willing, this is edifying. I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, by Shem, Akakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone to rule and teach well. Peace, love, salutation to the elect 144 first fruit. Until the next time, Shalom. And like always, repent for Yahweh Shai is coming back sooner than what me and you believe. Shalom.